city of Clinton unveiled a marker for one of the darkest days in the city's history, the race riots of 1875. 16 WAPT's Ali Ware was there. In the same place where State Senator Charles Caldwell was shot to death, now stands a historical marker in remembrance of him and the Clinton race riots of 1875. We heard just snippets of it, that he was a senator that was killed in Mississippi, but that was kind of all we heard of the stories. Some of Caldwell's grandchildren, who never grew up in the South, were there for the ceremony that honored their great-great-grandfather, and they heard first account readings of the Clinton race riot of 1875. He and George Harper were both Democrats, but gave different accounts of what happened. The city leaders say the marker joins dozens of others that tell the rich history of Clinton. The purpose of this whole event wasn't to make heroes of villains or villains of heroes. We have to understand where we came from if we're going to fully understand where we are now and then learn where we can go. We still have a long way to go. And the important thing is that we have good relations. Both the city and Caldwell's grandchildren are hoping the Clinton race riot marker will force people to stop and think about the people who made the city what it is today. It's just another example of someone striving for civil rights. In Clinton, Allie Ware, 16 WAPT News. The Clinton mayor says by the end of 2016, Clinton will have 16 historical markers and they are working on adding even more.